Hello. Hey everybody, how are you doing today? So, as you all know, we're going to see the great North American eclipse this afternoon. So, uh, just in case you forgot to buy your official NASA eclipse viewing goggles, or you've built something for your, forgot to build something for yourself, uh, we're going to show you real quickly how you can put something together to safely view the eclipse um, out of things that you can find around your office or at home. So the first thing we need is a box. We're going to get a piece of 8.5 by 11 uh, copy or printer paper, a little piece of tin foil to make things easily uh, easier. We're going to have a razor blade, a tack, and some tape. Okay. So the first thing we want to do is take our box and kind of look, hold it up to the light, and see where I can see any areas where light might be leaking in. So I can see these corners. So I'm just going to take a little bit of this blue painter's tape here because that'll help block some of the light. If you have black tape, that'll work better, or you have a scotch or masking tape, that'll work just as well. If you only have a clear scotch tape, uh, take a piece of cardboard or a darker piece of paper, put that down first, and then you can tape that up uh, with the tape to help block some of that light. All right, so we have all four corners taped up here, so that'll help block some of that light from coming in. And now what we're going to do is we're going to open up our box and instead of putting it back here, which you might want to do initially, but you're going to have to close this up and we're going to have to cut some holes on this side and it's a lot harder to cut through two pieces of cardboard than one. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this piece of paper and we're going to tape it up onto the side of this box right in here. So let's go ahead and place it flat. Make sure we open this up. So we're going to place it flat so it's easier to tape down. We'll rip small pieces of tape. And just on each side, we're going to put uh, tape on here, and this will help hold that tape in place. Okay? So I'm going to put two more pieces in here just to make this nice and snug. And here we go. Just like that. Okay? Now what we're going to do is flip this over to the other side, okay? And we're going to take our razor blade and we're going to cut a hole right in the center. And now be real careful, always cut away from yourself. Put it in there. And we make a nice box. This is where our pinhole is going to go. Okay. But what you also want to do is because we're going to be able to want to see this in the box, we're going to cut a smaller hole right next to this. All right, we're just going to poke that hole out there. So now we have a hole that we're going to cover with the tin foil and poke a hole in, and that's going to form the projection, which is going to show up where the sun is going to be here on the piece of white paper. And this will be a nice little eye hole so we can easily view this. So what we'll do now, we're going to close up the side of this box. We're going to put some tape over this. All right, just to make sure it's nice and closed. Now, just in case, you could put a piece of tape. That's why before we're not going to seal this up just right away. Because those little flaps are hanging down. So I'm just going to put a piece of tape in here to hold the flaps back so it doesn't get in the way of what we're looking at. Okay. So there we go. We've got that sealed up. We've got our nice little box with our hole in it. So we'll take a piece of tin foil. If you don't have tin foil lying around, you can actually skip this part and try to just poke a hole right in the box. But it's a lot easier to get a nice clean hole right in the tin foil. So we're going to make sure that our tin foil is cut a little larger than the area that we've cut out. Okay? Because you want to make sure that it's nice and flat there and it's not letting light leak in through the sides. Okay? We're going to take our tape. Just like so. Spin that around. Just like that. Three, and then a final piece of tape right here. So now we have, minus the hole here for our eye, we have a completely dark box with a piece of paper inside. Okay? So if we take our thumbtack and we make the tiniest little pinhole prick right there you might not even be able to see it but a little tiny print pick like that and now let's just say that you mess that one up you can cover that with a piece of dark tape and then you can try to poke it again 
okay? But now what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to go, to go outside and you're gonna have the sun behind you, okay? So the sun and the eclipse will be happening up here and you wanna place this towards your back so the pinhole is facing up towards the sun and you'll look through the hole and you'll have an upside down and backwards projection on the piece of paper inside. And essentially we've created a pinhole camera. So if you were to cover this up and this up and put a piece of photo paper in there, you could make pictures with this. But today we're going to be using it as a safe way to view the eclipse. So I hope you all enjoy this and hopefully this is a helpful way to safely enjoy the eclipse today. Thanks a lot.